think it is 10 and Rachel is on. You are showing co-host, so we're good to go. Thank you guys for getting on at another strange time, but I'm like, we're going to make this work. You all love Rachel, so I'm like, we're just going to make this work. And I was excited. So she's just amazing, you guys. So a little bit about me. I'm Stephanie Dunn. I've been with the company for about 11 years, almost 11 years. And um, just a lot of changes have gone on. And I'm excited that I've been able to work from home, especially during this quarantine. And so we've learned a lot over the last just even quick few months of, of changing this and how we can work it and make this business work for each of us. So I'm excited about that. But I've been, you know, a top earner for a while now for five years number one which is so crazy but I see people creeping and Rachel's one of those girls like she is so competitive she's so encouraging and I think that having that friendly competition or somebody that will push you to just be the best you and that's something that Rachel is just so that's what she wants for everybody she's just set the pace of wanting to help everyone because she knows when that tide rises, everybody rises. And so I just love that she kind of was that little like, hey, I have a question. She always wanted to know and she wasn't afraid to ask me. And that's how we really started to become friends and like family through the business because she was hungry and wanted more for her and her family and her team. And so she knows that when, when you just help people, there's so many other people that will come to you, you just kind of draw that in. And she's like, I don't even know what to say that, but she just kind of had these breakthrough moments. So um, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Rachel Jones. Most of you know her. If you're new, you will know who Rachel Jones is because she puts herself out there. And I'm grateful for that because I'm a learner too. I love, it could be just one tweak of a word. And that's what we need to enroll those customers or distributors or get our business off and running and quick. And that's what she's done most recently as an ambassador, being able to open up a 2.0 position. And she deserves a huge, like, congratulations, you guys. She went from like distributor Ruby to a triple diamond. And I, I think she said three or four months. So she did that really fast and she's hungry for more. more. Don't slow down during them. If you're just started, getting started, you know, that's what we all start somewhere. And so it's okay. We just want you to start tonight. So Rachel, can you unmute yourself? I think you can. Um, so she's going to tell you a little bit of her quick story, but then just, she's going to just share from her heart. Oh my gosh. That like just made me really emotional. I'm just a little bit emotionally unstable. This is our fourth Zoom of the night. And I just, I, it's funny because Steph messaged me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm on all your Zooms, but I can't, like tonight, I actually have commitments for one, for once. No, just kidding, we always do. But I was just like, I'm sorry, I can't, this is the one Monday. And instead she pushed it back and I was like, oh, okay, well, sure, of course I'll do it. So um, I'm just, you guys got the last of me, so I'm like a little bit, little bit emotional, but if I cry, I'll just let it happen. But um, just a little bit about me, and real quick, just with what Stephanie was saying, I think the reason why it made me emotional is because it's like sometimes it's so hard in this business to share what's working because we get cloud and we get clouded with like oh the algorithm talk and there is literal things of like if everyone's doing the same thing it won't work and stuff but I just I think the reason why I mean first of all I get excited when something's working it gets me excited and I have a big mouth so there's that but I also just know what it feels like to be like struggling to be struggling and to be like what is working right now like why is no one talking about what's working what's the best host quote like when I know what it feels like when it's like you just feel defeated and you're like I'm just sick and freaking tired of being stuck and so I think just knowing what that feels like and you'll you guys will be there if you haven't already just being in this business forever it's just not always going to be easy um and so I just think that that's just I feel like it's just tenfold what you put out there is what you're going to get and you just can't be selfish with a business like this and so um that's just why I get really giddy and I just have a big mouth so I just want everyone to see it working but a little bit about me just real quick um I I'll be celebrating six years in September and this business found me when I was 22 freshly 22 literally the week of my 22nd birthday I joined this business um and I had tried a network marketing fresh 
a network marketing company fresh out of high school and it was like a two month gig, didn't do good. So I wasn't looking for this because I was just very shy and secure, just a mom, just like little baby mom trying to raise a kid. And I was in college and I was really busy. Um, but I saw the products. One person was posting about it and I was interested in the products, but we lived paycheck to paycheck and, um, um, moms come at the bottom of the totem pole. So when I addressed that, I could not become a customer. She got me to join her team the same day. So it's funny how that works. You don't have money for apps, but you have money to join. So I jumped in. I went diamond in three months. It was my senior year of college. I was a full-time waitress trying to plan our wedding and being a mom. And I still went diamond in my first 90 days. So for you guys on here, I mean, and I'm so happy they brought it back because it was gone for a minute. It hasn't always been, you get to go to diamond in 30 days or 90 days. And so, um, it can definitely be done you guys. So just believe it. That was what was kind of trickling in front of me. I joined for just a couple hundred dollars a month. Um, but then when I saw that there was a deadline to that, I was like, I got to do that because I am competitive and I did want to do that. And so I did that. And then we went double in uh, five months. We both quit our jobs. We ran with this full time and we've been a full time family ever since. Um, we went triple a year later, Prez, uh, Ambassador, all the things. But what I really wanted to talk about, unless Steph has questions, is just like, it's been a weird year, you guys. It's just been weird in a good way, but almost as if like, it, I want to try to address it in a way that I hope can like connect with one person. But when you guys go Ambassador, you hear this 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, .0, and it's kind of a weird concept. You literally hit the the top of the company you bust your butt with some of your best veterans that have been on your team for so long they already know what to do and then you get to literally turn around i think hannah blag is uh unmuted i keep hearing stuff on hers but um you you hit the top of the company with like your best friends and then you get to turn around and it sounds like a great concept and it is but it's a little freaky in the beginning because you're literally starting Sorry, you got it though. Perfect. It was kind of weird last year with that. And I don't know, I think a lot of people struggle with the 2.0 and I don't know how it was Steph when you joined, when you did your 2.0, because I know it's been around for a second, but it was just weird. And so anyways, um, we promoted to Emerald in our first like couple months. And then I fell back down to Ruby and I was just like a solid Ruby with four to 5,000 in volume from like July to December. And then, you know, I knew that everything was going to come out in, in at conference and all of the things. And I was just ready to go, but it still was so weird. And so I remember just feeling like it's almost like a feeling of defeat. And, and I think it's inevitable to feel like, can I do it again with a brand new team? It's like no one else is there to help them but me. And it's like, you just think you don't know if you can do it again. And so January came around and we were set up and I, I like signed a bunch of distributors, set us up for Diamond. And um, we did it while we were at conference and it was great. And then I went double in February and that was great. And I was like, oh my gosh, I knew that I was going to get that double bonus and the Diamond bonus. And then it was feeling really Really awesome and it still has been but then it just got weird in the sense of like am I doing like this is so weird you guys are gonna think it's so weird but I just wanted to talk real quick because first it went from I don't know if I have what it takes to even set myself up for the promotion let alone do it and then we did it and then you start to wonder is it the right people am I doing it the right way and so it's funny because last week I actually texted uh, Steph that she was busy and I just felt really weird and not like it was wrong not like it was wrong we went triple diamond last month and it was great we woke up on the 25th our team worked so freaking hard and I owe it all to them and it's just been the most beautiful thing all three legs working all so good but then I'm just like oh my gosh the next step is Prez and that is scary. And there's a lot of people on here probably pushing for Prez. And that jump from triple to Prez was just so freaking odd. It's just so, so like, it almost feels unrealistic. And so I got really scared in the sense of like, where's that volume going to come from? And what if I fall short? And this is so weird, you guys. And some of you guys might be judging me so hard, but I had this talk with Zach and it's kind of going off of what Steph said. It's like, you get so hungry for promoting and you make your mind up and it's like, no, I don't want to fall short. I literally told him and I sound like a moron. I was like, I either want to go press or I don't even want to push for it. I don't want to fall short. And so I got all in my head, like, what do I do? Because I needed an extra 50K in volume. I need an extra 50K in volume and I don't know where that's coming from. And so it's going to, it literally is going to be God's BV. Everyone keeps talking about that. And so anyways, I just got really caught up because we just got off of a high in April. We've honestly been busting our butts since January 1st and we are all tired. 
we're freaking tired. Is anyone on here that is so tired? And it's like, we almost got a little bit weird beginning of May. It's like, we're expecting May to trump like the April, but it's like, how do we let it get so good if we all don't know what to do because we're a little bit tired. And so it's almost like, I felt like I was almost like delirious. Like, what if I just can't do it? And so um, we have it all set up. We're five people away. And then last, last week I was on a walk and I was like, I can't do it. And I don't think I can do it. And I just freaked out. So I texted Cami, I texted Stephanie and I'm like, and I'm walking and I'm by myself because when I go on a walk, I just feel like it's me, myself in the wind and God, and it's just peaceful. And I'm just like, if they were to answer their phones right now, like, what do I even need from them? I don't know. Well, Cami ended up answering her phone after she called me back and I, she was like, what's up? And I could tell she was busy and I'm like, how do I like really utilize her time? And I was like, I just need to, you to hear me talk. And I just start talking in circles. And now I'm getting frantic because I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like scared, but I'm not scared. It doesn't feel wrong, but it feels right. And I don't know. And so I'm just talking and talking and she's just talking to me and she's like, I don't think, like, do you think you're doing it for the wrong reasons? And I was like, no, I don't know why I want Prez, but I know it doesn't feel wrong. And then we were just talking and she was like, listen, here's the deal you guys haven't seen this like long momentum in a while. And of course it feels weird. And of course you're supposed to be tired. And then I got on a Zoom with another leader unintentionally. And she was like, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but like you only need three boxes. And after, like you only need three people on your top line. And after you get those three, which we all do right away, you continue building. You don't build a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, I mean you can. And so she was just like, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but like you're building forward. Why are you trying to stop that? And I don't know how to explain it guys only other than the sense of like, it probably was the enemy. And I was just like, maybe I'm moving too fast. And if Steph were to answer her phone, I was just going to be like, tell me as someone that goes so fast that like, it's not long to keep going. I didn't feel greedy. I didn't, but I was just like, what if we go press and no one can maintain what comes at it. And I was so caught up in June and July and August that I couldn't work. I just couldn't work and I was showing up and I was doing all the things, but we all started getting scared and we were all tired and I just didn't know really what to do. And so in that moment, I literally, after I got off the phone with Cammy, I just started praying and praying and it was a different kind of praying you guys. And, and we all know what it feels like when we like we're praying because we're just automatically communicating with God every day because we know that's just what we do to maintain that relationship. But then when we actually surrender and I'm on this walk and I'm just like, I don't know how to explain it other than, and I talked to, to this with, I have five girls in my downline that are going, um, trying to go presidential this month. And I talked about it and I'm like, it's the weirdest thing because I'm literally on the walk talking out loud, probably looking like a lunatic. And I'm just like, Lord, if this is meant to be like pave away, like clear my path and like put those in my path that need this. And I just want the clarity. And I start praying over specific names. And I've never done that before where I'm like, I'm praying for blank because I know she needs it for this. And I'm praying for this. And, and she needs three people and place them in her path. And it's not even like a matter of I'm like begging and desperate. I'm just like, I felt this peace come over me in a sense of if it's going to be, if it's meant to be, it's going to be. And I'm going to, I just felt like I surrendered and gave it all to God. And I'm going to, and I now like today's day one and I'm like busting my butt and I've been doing stuff all day, but I'm doing it so peacefully in the sense of not that I don't think it's going to happen. I'm just like, I know I'm going to do all I can and I'm going to do it tired. I'm going to do it tired because I want to go to bed, but if it's going to happen, it's going to be because of God. And if it's not, it's just not meant to be, but I'm not going to be mad about it because I know I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do and I'm moving forward. And those that have to come with are going to come with. And those that aren't, I know he'll weed them out and it might hurt, but I just had this walk and it ended up being 20, it was like 20 to 30 minutes and I'm just praying over and over again like lord i surrender this isn't my promotion anymore it's not and i don't know how it's going to happen it's literally going from like ruby to prez in five months and it's scary and all the things but i just am feeling i can't even put it into words and that's why i was trying to explain stuff it's like i don't know how to talk what to say or what you guys need to hear but i'll just say it's been so insane that in december i'm like I put on my dream board that I wanted to go triple sometime this year because you got to keep dreaming as an ambassador. Like I had to pave the way for my team and everyone else was going for triple 2.0. I didn't know how it was going to happen. And I think that's why I freaked out because it happened really fast. And then you just don't even know what to do. And so maybe that's what I'm supposed to be talking about is like the sense of if you have had that promotion early on in this year, I don't think that that's all God wants out of you. And I just think it's just like, maybe that's the thing is I was prepared to like be done dreaming for the year. And now I'm like, I don't really know how to increase it because I don't know why I want Prez. I don't know why other than the fact that I'm competitive and it's like right there in front of us, but it just got really freaking creepy. And then I just released it all and it was just wild. And I just feel so at peace and I just feel, I just can't even, I have stuff that is in the works. It hasn't been secured yet, but weird stuff happened today that I was like, 
I don't even know how to explain it, you guys. And I can't even word it because I don't want to jinx it at this point, but like weird conversations and weird things. And I'm just like, I released it. It's not in my control anymore. And he wants to get all the glory at the end of the day, but how can he get the glory when we're in control, fighting the ways and like only using him when we need him? Anyways, I don't know if that was helpful, but that was just what I was trying to tell you I wanted to talk about. <laughs> she, I mean, I think that is exactly what people need to hear. They sometimes, even as a new distributor, like what Rachel's feeling is overwhelmed, like how am I gonna get there? But you start you know, you just give it up and you do the work and God's going to put those people in your path. If you're doing the work, you can't just think about it. You can't just, you can pray, but you got to have the action behind those prayers because he's going to open and close the doors that are meant to be for those times. And I think that, you know, there are going to be so many times of feeling overwhelmed and, oh my gosh, I can't do it. You're not doing this alone. At the beginning, you feel like it. I think we all feel like, doesn't anybody want this as bad as me? Actually, I feel like that all the time still. Doesn't anybody want this as bad as me? And I'm at the top and I still like, doesn't anybody want this as bad as me? Yes, there's people that want that and you keep showing up. I think, you know, I had a conversation to Rachel this with another, she's actually, she might be on, but I do have to say this. There's a girl on here, Crystal Little. I think she's on here. I have to scroll through. She's like, tell Rachel, I just love her. I'm making my team all get on. So She's pushing for triple diamond. She went from Ruby to double diamond last month. And she just, I had to give her a shout out because she's just, wow. she moved mountains. So when you think it's impossible, it in, right in there says I'm possible, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that is the thing that we have to, to keep in mind is Rachel's the one that really is the, the one that brought out host to post. If she wouldn't have shared that with us, this business would look a lot different. So we have the tool. She's, she shared what was working and now we've switched it and tweaked it and tried new things and we, you know, make it better, but really tracking it now and yeah. doing those steps has been a huge thing. So if you're putting in the work and you're going, okay, I'm putting in the work, but I'm not seeing the results. We've got to take a look at what does the conversation look like? Is it your wording? Is it, you know, are you just, keeping it so simple that it makes sense to become a customer and distributor. And those are those things that this is momentum. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've seen through 11 years is when you're just like, okay, there's people wanting this in a time where at first when this happened, everybody's like, nobody's going to want this product. Nobody's going to want to do this business. And we've proved that. Yes, everybody wants this business. Everybody is still still buying and actually buying more than what we think. And so those doors have been opened for you guys to go. And so this is, I see the momentum. It is definitely in the times of the year for us, like looking back of a big run and that's what you want to be part of. And I wouldn't slow it down. So if I would have had that conversation with Rachel, I'm like, you're crazy, be tired, but be in the momentum because what happens is you let the gas off as a leader, your team follows suit. And that's what we don't want to happen. We want, the only way to coast is downhill. So we don't want to do that. Like give yourself a breather, enjoy the moment. If you're having a bad day, take that, take it out, get it all the way out and then show up again tomorrow. And sometimes mm -hmm. we need, we need those days. I think that she's just sharing. She doesn't really know she's overwhelmed, but she's going to do it overwhelmed. She's going to do it tired because there's so many people that are looking up to you. Even as a distributor, people look at you and they want to be part of something that's bigger. And that's what you have to offer. Um, so, you know, when you are leading the team, Rachel, what do you think got the masses moving? Obviously you made that decision. So you're, you know, like I would say to you, you're on the Zoom because you're ready. You're ready to make this decision to promote if it's a new distributor to promote to executive, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, whatever it is, or presidential like Rachel's going for. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's cheering you on too, Rach. We know that you can do it. But, you know, if you were like talking to your team right now, mm -hmm. what would you say, this is what we're going to do? So give us 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I think the first thing, and this is so the first time you do it, it's so uncomfortable. And then you keep going and you're like, I don't know how to not do it. But I think the first thing is, is like, and I think this can touch whoever's on here. It doesn't matter who you are is putting it out there. So let's say you're at the top of your team. And if I were to get my team on the, on a zoom, I would be the one that's like, listen, this is what we're going to do. And I think the thing is, is this is like, so for example, for like, for me going pres and, and my 2.0, like, I think what's been so, so influential influential and like inspiring is like me they're so new they're all like 2020 people they're so new and so some people are on here and they're new and they've signed up in 2020 and you're like I don't know how when I don't have the longevity with my people how to get them to fight for it so it's like you got to cast that vision and that is a weird saying because you don't know how to cast a vision you don't but you just have to be yourself and in, in the sense of paving the way and so what's been important to me this year is being like okay guys we're going diamond we 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 are going diamond they have a role in that every single person has a role so like the emerald knows that they're a part of it i'm not specifically being like you're the emerald you're the 400 bucks you are that but it's like we're a diamond team we're a ruby team and i think just the fact of setting that pace gives them something to shoot for and they know that they're not alone there might be someone on here that's like well i don't have anyone under me to do that zoom for you're just it's just you yourself and i well there's also blessing in that because you get to put it out to facebook and you get to attract the people that want to be a part of someone's team that had that vision. And so I think it's so important to address those people because so many people combat what I said with like, I don't, I can't do that because I don't have a team. There is blessing in not having a team too. I would never not want to have a team, but I sometimes like, sometimes it, I, I picture it like this. Like I love my kids, but sometimes like I just got off the Zoom with Shay and I'm like, man, those days, like I just bet it's so nice not to have kids. Like, and I just jokingly fantasize about that like it's the same thing like I would never trade my team for the world but I bet it's freaking awesome to not have anyone to report to so it's like there's power in both and if you don't have a team yet put it out there on Facebook as if you were doing a zoom and then if you do have a team pave the way you don't have to have a vision when I got everybody on a zoom on May 1st and I'm like okay I was so so nervous I was just like I don't want to be greedy I don't want to be greedy but I need them and so I'm just like okay here's the deal we're hot right now we're really hot and uh, you guys are killing it. And I didn't plan for this to happen, but I think it's time to go prez. Um, and I'm just going to be a really good leader for you. And we're just going to try to do it. And I didn't know what to say. And I probably sound like a loser, but um, that's the next step. And so I think that that's just the biggest thing is painting a vision for your team. And again, it's like, it is a little bit weird in the beginning, but you don't have to literally be on the zoom and be like, well, we're going Ruby and I need you to have 400 and you like, that's a private conversation that I think you word in different ways. Um, but I've done that for all my promotions, even before 2.0, it's like, like everyone's important and I think they fight a little harder when they know what they're fighting for and so I think that that's the big thing is like putting it out there because you have to set the pace but then you have to know that words are just words and if you're not backing them with action it's like there goes that influence and there goes that respect so it's very easy in the beginning of the month to be excited and I think that's maybe why I panicked a little because I didn't waste any time but then I'm like okay we're kind of like the exhaustion's catching up and what if we can't pull this off after I just got done like painting the picture for them. And so I know those fears creep in, but I think the biggest thing is like making sure you're putting it out there and, and rallying them up, but then also making sure you're backing up what you're saying. And then also just knowing that a part of leadership, no matter what rank you're going for, sometimes that means you're stopping your work to figure out what's wrong. Like I've had to have conversations this month and I've had to stop what I'm doing to be like, what's going on? Something doesn't feel right. Like, let's figure this out here. Maybe your host posts are off or maybe something's going on in your home life. I haven't seen you on a Zoom. Like that alone alone is exhausting, but it's rewarding because so many times when you're on a run, your team doesn't want to slow you down and be like, Rachel, I'm depressed. Or Rachel, my husband's going to leave me. Like people don't automatically want to speak up. And so I'm not saying that to give you guys pressure. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> but when something feels weird and you're like ticked because you're like, like, I don't know if anyone's like me, but I'm like, who's on my Zoom today? Okay, she said she was getting on and she's not on. Like, I'm just a little savage like that just because I want everyone to work with me. So you don't have to be a brat, but it's like, you said you were going to get on every day this week. What's the deal? Like, what's going on? Some people need that butt kick, but some people are actually dealing with life. So just remembering that you have to be a leader, you have to be a friend, you have to do all the things, but sometimes that means stopping your business for a second to figure out the missing piece. And I hate that. I hate having to be like, I thought I tagged you in five posts on the team page. Like now I have to look at your screenshots, you're a Ruby, what's going on? But you'll find like people will start sending you stuff and you're like, I never told you to send that. Of course you're getting 50 host posts up and nothing's going on because you tweaked it on your own. And so sometimes when we don't stop and we don't paint that vision, they're just kind of doing their own thing. Um, and sometimes it's not just not the best way to go. So I think that's what I would do is I would get them on the Zoom, paint the picture. If you don't have a team, 
paint it on Facebook and you'll attract those people, um, show up. And then if something feels off with anyone on your team, you guys have the authority to reach down. And again, you don't have to be a brat about it, but just figure out what the issue is and make that safe space. So they know that they don't have to quit when something happens, they can talk to you about it and hopefully you can fix it. You guys, that's a huge, like, aha right there is, we're going to have times where like something doesn't feel right or I'm tagging people. Why aren't they on the best thing to do is show up. You guys all know this. And so when you're joining, when you're, when you have new distributors and maybe I forget to tag somebody, if somebody's like, Oh man, they should be on working together to make sure that they're on. Mm -hmm. And it's your, it's your business. I, nobody tags me to get on anything. I just know that I take this so seriously because people show up when you show up. So that's your first, first cue is making sure that you're showing up. I always pretty much know who's going to be on, like it's given and that's why they're successful. That's a huge piece of successful people is they show up, you know, Mark and Pam and well, not so much Mike, but Pam has done a show me the money call for almost 20 years. She never wavers from that. So you think being consistent, you think being on that people are going to come along the way and they may not feel it. It may not feel fast enough, but you've got to show up. So that's a huge, huge piece of that is making sure that you're showing up and, and doing those things. I love what you said about, you know, people end up making their own scenario, their own message back. And if your team gives you a script or you've seen some that have worked and you guys have seen a lot of host to post scripts, use those because yeah. we know that those works. We don't just give them to you to give them to you. Like that is something that you can message back and forth in the inbox in a text. It's the post on your wall that you want to switch up a little bit. Yeah. That's the key right there. So know that when you're seeing messages, like here's how to respond, do that. Now, I get it. They may go off of your script a little bit. We have that. They may go, well, what's the ingredients in that? You dang greens. Why do you have to ask what's in it? I really don't care. If it's going to give me energy, give it to me. <laughs> but there might be those people. And so those are the times to make sure that you ask or get into your team page and go, how should I word this? Because if they want it, they're going to start, they're going to ask the question. So just try to stay on task as much as, as you can. So I'm going to do this though since you guys had such massive, you know, success last month is what do you think? I mean, you casted the vision. You said that was everybody, uh, hold on. I'm good. You guys still on there? Okay. I don't want to end the meeting with that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Like Joel's usually the one that I feel like runs the controls. You know, I just click too many buttons. He's usually the one that's up there. We usually have too many things going on at once. That's usually, I'm like, can you come down and help me? I've got too many things. But, um, you know, going on and promoting, what do you think? I mean, you casted that vision. You guys know where you're going. Yeah. So coming together as a team. And so you're talking to the ones that are, that are in. Okay. So these are the people that are in. I'm on your team, Rachel. I'm, I'm going for Emerald. What would you tell me? Like, okay, this is your goal. Is it this many hosts to post? What did you do to get everybody on board? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it would be different based on the promotion, but I think the first important thing is to get yourself boxed as soon as you can. But I also think it's like, sometimes we wait to get that volume and so we're boxed. And it's like, sometimes like I had a girl, I don't know if she's on here, um, Jacqueline, and she had the vision of going diamond and she didn't get boxed until two days, two days before, but she filled all, like she just had one person left that she had a box that she had to fill, but she did all the volume because she was like, I see the end goal. Don't know where that last CT is coming from, but she worked super hard, got everything aligned to where that one person just needed 400 and her and her whole team did it the last day and she went. So I think the biggest thing obviously is to get boxed as soon as you can. And it's really, it's accurate. What we say is like, whatever you put your focus on, you'll do. So if you need 10 distributors, you better go all in with distributor host posts and whatever. And then when you need volume, you just go all in. But I think something that really helped, and I know this isn't like the best tip, but like we just have such good leaders on our team, our freaking diamond and above, they just, they do so much. And we had a this is, I know, I know you don't like, I don't think you like to spend a lot of time on Zoom stuff. You also are such a freaking hard worker, but we had Zoom up. Like we had someone just hosting a Zoom in just a power hour with music, like um, three fourths of the day and we would just rotate. 
Bethany would be on for two hours and be like, I got to take the kids to school. Who wants to take over? Just to have it open and to have music. Half the time we weren't even talking, but it's just this weird accountability. It's weird. And I'm not saying everyone on here has to do it, but if you have this little team that's going for something, it's really hard to give up when you're all doing it together and you're on it. And then like, if someone's hosting it and they're like, Oh, this message works. I like, we put, put the music down and be like, guys, this is freaking working so good right now. And then put it in the chat. And so just our leadership as a whole, just is so freaking good to where we just rotate and those power hours. And again, we're not always designating, but just the unity of just everyone knows that we're working. And then, um, sharing what's working, putting the scripts, always, I'm just always looking to see, I'm, lo I'm always looking left and right, but not in a distracted way, just to see. And I, I learned that coffee host to post was really awesome towards the end of last month. So we started incorporating that in, it's not our main host to post TFX is, but now we know that coffee works really well too. And that's our plan B. Um, but I think the biggest thing is making sure you're set up. And then once you're set up, you get to literally figure it out. And as soon as you can, like, I still draw my charts. <laughs> if I don't print it off, like I still got it. Like I got it. I love paper and I know you do too stuff, but making sure you have that for everyone you need and then showing them and teaching them. And I'm very guilty of doing it all by myself. Like I know charting has never been hard for me and I'm not green, but I know how to chart and it just, I just get it. So when people don't, I'm sometimes a little bitchy because I'm like, how do you not get it? Like it's clear. I don't know. So I just like to chart for people. That's my biggest flaw is like maybe not teaching them, but getting it all guys, having it all out there. And then it goes everywhere with you. And if you literally have so this is like what's holding part of what's holding me back from going prez. It's like this went everywhere with me because I have two spots I need to fill. So like wherever I'm going, I'm looking at that enough. I'm going to find a way to fill those boxes. I am. I know that God will put those people into my path because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I don't know why they haven't, I haven't filled my boxes yet, but they're just not there. They're just not, I haven't communicated with those people yet. And I just know it's going to come. And so I think that's the biggest thing is having that vision. Um, and again, it's scary. It's so scary when you have to, when you need 50 people or whatever it is. But if you don't have that, that you're looking at every single day, another thing too, that helped. And this is something we always did in the beginning and then stopped is like, I had it, I have it written right there now, but it said we're triple 2.0. And in April we'll make blank a certain amount that I hadn't seen since last April. And we ended up doing three grand more than that amount. And I didn't even know how we'd get that amount, but I'm just like, I saw the dollar signs again. And I'm like, this is what I want to make again. And I want to do it with this rank. And I saw it every day and I prayed over that and I don't know how it happened. <laughs> like physically, I don't know how we did that last month, but it happened and I saw it every day and then I just increased it. Like if you look at it enough, your brain has no other, it, what's it going to do? It's going to make it happen. But if you don't have it everywhere with you, how do you know what you're really going to do? So I don't know if that was helpful, but I think that's the biggest thing is having that vision and then making sure you're staying close with those people that you need. And if that means you're on zoom all day, working together, whatever you have to do, not everybody underneath me needs that. Some people literally are like, just check in with me every night before bed. Okay. I'll do that. But some people want to be handheld all day and I'll do whatever it takes, but I just got to figure out what you need first before I can provide that for you. You know, something that I want you guys to know is if you want that, do not wait for an upline to do it. So if this is you and you have somebody on your team and it's a team of one or if it's a sideline and you're in a team page and you're like, hey, I want to do that, do that. So that's, I remember doing that as, as a Ruby, doing trainings, doing the things because I didn't want to wait for somebody. I didn't have somebody doing that for me. So I did it because I wanted it and I wanted to help other people. Even though I didn't know everything, I knew a little bit more. And so that was how we learned together. So if you're on here and you're like, okay, well, I'm a Ruby, you know, should I even start doing what Rachel's talking about is gathering my team? Yes, that's the one thing that you should be doing is take charge and, and own that, that Zoom. And if we've got bigger Zooms and other ones that you can jump on, then do those too. Like, that's the thing is I don't want you guys to think, well, I don't have a diamond leader that's doing yes. those, or I don't have an upline. There's no excuses when you want something bad enough, you're going to do it. Like Rachel said, she's just doing it. So, um, that was me, you know, so there's all different ways that we can do that, but it's getting on these zooms so that you're working. You're not just on a zoom to be on a zoom. You're physically doing, getting those hosts to post up. Then when you don't have the answer, you can go back and forth and get a, get a, you know, a message on how to respond. How can we upsell? And I love like just going back and they got the host to post and just 
you know, for doing this, I have a special offer for you today for doing this. Usually the, the skinny sample that I have is $20, but for you, it's $15. That's Rachel. That's another thing that that's some cash in your pocket as you're yeah. rolling up the ranks. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal too. Like, you know, there's people that make anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars and just coffee cash, you guys. And it's a great intro just to start a conversation. Right. So I think that that's good. But one of the things that I wanted you guys to know is we corporate has done everything as far as getting the, the host to post videos out and sharing with so many leaders that are doing it and having success. It's not just one group that is having success with gathering customers. It's masses. It's really starting to take wave. And that's how we why want you guys to grow is be part of that. Don't go, I'll, I'll learn it tomorrow. Learn, just get it out there and ask for the help. Do not be afraid to ask. When you have that bold courage to ask for help, how do I answer things? You're, that's how you're going to learn and be loud about it on team pages too. So people see it, you know, that's the one thing that I know with new DTs, you guys text me, but I also always say, can you post it in team pages? Cause other people may go, I had that question. I'm so glad that they asked that. And if you know the answer, answer it, like help each other out because somebody's going to go back and be like, wow, she helped me out. I'd love to help her out in return. So really there's no, you know, there's no secret crazy thing out there that people think that they're doing. It's just like not just knowing that you're not going to be lazy. I love that last month, last week we had a couple on here and she was like, I was just being lazy. And when I was not being lazy, then I saw, wow, I'm signing up customers. So making that choice to go all in, to get your chart out, to just decide I'm going to do these hosts posts. I'm going to get these messages out because that's really all we have to do right now. A lot of us still are full quarantine. You're not talking to people face to face. And I don't, I mean, even if you're at a job, you're still limited on, we can't do expos, we can't go to big events. So how are we gonna to talk to those people? So this is gonna be it for a while, I think, Rachel, is is the host to post. And the quicker that you get on board with this, the faster that you just see success with that. And that's what we want for you. So. Um, I just appreciate you jumping on after having a bazillion Zooms. I, I get it. I understand having Zoom after Zoom after Zoom of what else can I share? What else can I pour into people? And that that's me. A lot of times I'm like, I don't know what to share with you guys anymore. It's we enroll yeah. customers and distributors and we chart. That's our business. Yeah. All the extra stuff comes along the way. Don't worry about, oh, generational bonuses or how do I get paid? Like it comes. And so those things will start to come and you're going to grow into those bigger things when you start to look. Just know distributor to customers, distributor to customers. Like that's the magic that starts to move the momentum and the masses. Um, but did you have any last minute? I could see it. She's like, I got it. <laughs> I know, but I don't like to interrupt. So I'm like, obviously, surely she'll just let me do one more. <laughs> But I was going to say this, we said this on the last Zoom, but um, something that's helped me because there, there's someone at least, there's at least someone on here that's going to do a crazy promotion. I know, like you're like, I don't know, I think I could double promote. Someone on here is doing something scary. So I know it's got to affect someone, but we were talking about this. Cheyenne Knox actually helped me with it because she just, I just told her, I was like, you know, she just, uh, she's known right now for bringing in that psycho volume the last five days. So now she's like, man, I love being one to a mission, but everyone's blowing her up. So I'm thinking about this extra 50 K that I have no idea where it's coming from. And I'm automatically like Cheyenne next. So I text her and I'm just like freaking out because she's also my friend. So I'm like, just don't judge me, but like, how the heck is it coming in? I don't know. And so she was just like, listen, you don't, you're too worried about the volume that you, you can't figure out where it's coming from. And she was like, just do it overwhelmed instead of doing it scared because if you do it scared you won't do it at all and i'm like okay that's exactly it the overwhelming feelings never go away with promoting it doesn't matter what you're hitting it doesn't matter if you're hitting ruby or president presidential promotion month is overwhelming but there's a difference in overwhelming and fear but i really wanted to read this real quick if i could um i got this book from ashley fluger well not from her but she shares all the things on instagram and it's just so good it's hi god one more thing okay i need to read this it shook me and i've shared it on a couple of zooms but we just need to hear it every day okay this is what it's hi god this is dream delay hi god i'm really excited about the way things have been going i heard your voice i got the idea the dream came alive and the door started opening i was so psyched 
I was thinking that things were going to pop at any second, like any second, maybe now. Okay. Now, because honestly, I thought that it would be done by now or even last month. This dream seems like it's on delay. I planted the seed. I'm believing you. I watered the seed in faith and prayer. What's happening? I wonder if Noah felt the same way when you told him to build the ark. What a world rocking dream. I can't imagine how excited he was when he knew that this vision, this desire, and this call on his life to invent the first boat ever built was going to happen. And then, according to Jewish, Jewish tradition, he planted the seeds to the trees that would grow and provide the wood that he would cut down to make the boat. Hold up. That's a decades-long dream delay. Wait for, dreams to, wait for trees to grow. I want to buy the pre-built dream. What did he do wrong? Was he being punished? Did Noah make you mad? No, the Bible doesn't say any of that. This was just part of the process. Noah did all you commanded, including being patient in the process and not getting discouraged while things developed. Maybe that's what I need to do. Instead of going on a witch hunt of what could possibly be wrong when things don't hum along as quickly and easy as I imagine they would, I just need to trust your timing. I know that you're on my side. I know that you're working on things for me, whether I can see them or not. Why am I getting so antsy? You're a right on time, at the right time kind of God. I don't know why that makes me emotional. If there's any, if there's a delay, it's because you're working something out. You're growing big, strong trees and you're lining things up and you're making things better. You don't delay dreams. You prepare and you train me from the very onset of the dream seed so that I not only get the dream, but I get to keep the dream. Thank you, God, for helping me understand that a big heart harvest takes a while to grow. Thank you for listening to me when I pray. I honestly can't believe that you take the time and effort to move things around on earth on my behalf. You don't owe me anything, and I owe you, well, every single thing, including this moment. You aren't lazy, you're wise. I'll wait for that wisdom. I'll wait and I'll praise you. I'll wait with my hands held high in beautiful mix of surrender and expectation. I'll wait on the God who does not fail. I'll wait with my hopes high and my confidence fixed on you. That is, I need to read that every single day. That just got me so shook to the core. That is so freaking good. So I just wanted to end on that. And that's just really all I had to say. But you guys, it's just, it's supposed to be overwhelming. Just don't stop working and surrender. And he wants all the glory anyways. We can't do it on our own. So I think that's the biggest thing and why I felt so overwhelmed is like, I have never dove more deeper into my faith and I'm just taking care of myself, but also taking care of people. And I'm like, someone needs to just help me because I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this gift, but it's overwhelming and we just have to keep on moving forward. I love that. And I think that is the most perfect ending to a Zoom to just kick off the week. So Rachel, I love you. You just share from the heart. You share, you're just real. And you guys, our leadership and it works is just incredible. And it just trickles down the more that you guys see and get on Zooms and just hear that it really can happen to you. It's just surrender that, do the work that we tell you to do because it's rewarding. It's there with these actions that we tell you every week. Like we wouldn't tell you to do something that we're not doing. And that's what I really love about our leadership too is we're working. We're not just telling you to go do something when we're, we're not doing it. So I appreciate you. I know you're, you're tired and you're overwhelmed, but I am just so, so thankful you said yes to come on tonight because obviously there was a reason that God needed you to be on all of these Zooms because you are made for so much more. And I'm so, so grateful for you. And I just love you guys. So uh, make sure you guys go tell Rachel, thank you and how much you appreciate her. But it's time to get to work, guys. It's exciting. It's momentum time. People need our product. They need the business, the opportunity to change their life. So have an amazing, actually, everybody put on a smile face. I'm going to get a picture. Uh, I need, let me put it on all of you. Ready, one, two. All right. All right, Rachel. Well, thank you guys. I'll see you all soon. And I guess I'm going to be doing power hour open zooms all the time because of you, Rachel. I love you. All right. Have a good night guys.